Hi, I'm Fariha and I am an LA-based nail artist. Today I'm here on set with OPI. We will be discussing and working with OPI gel color system. So the OPI gel color system is one of the first true gels that were introduced to the market. It is the most recognized, the most like widely distributed, very easily available system that has a really good range of colors. There's a few different options in terms of base coat, top coat, and then obviously there's so many different colors to choose from. So the great thing about using OPI gel color in a salon setting is that it's very easy to pick up in terms of start to finish. You have the prep available through OPI as well as base coat, the color, the lamp, everything that you need to use till the end of the manicure, you can use the same system. So gel is a little different from regular polish where prep is important because you need to make sure that the nail is completely dry because if there are any oils, etc., it will cause the nails to lift or it just won't last as long. Use a fine buffer on nails so that you're not damaging it, not just using a nail cleanser like isopropyl alcohol or NAS99, but also using Bond-Aid because it works really well with the gel color bases and it kind of makes sure that the bases really stick to the nail. A really good thing about the OPI gel color line is that they do offer options when it comes to the base coat, which is the foundation of a gel manicure. There's the classic, which is the OPI gel color base coat. That is the all-purpose cleaner. It stays on pretty well if you prep properly and if use properly with the system and it also soaks out really easy. If someone has really, really weak nails and it's kind of brittle and gels just don't seem to stick on them, for that they have the strengthening base coat. And it's kind of great because you can sort of ensure that their gels stay on a lot longer. If you're trying to choose between what top coats to use, there are also a few options in the gel color system. The classic is the OPI top coat. It stays shiny for a very long time. It's got a pretty short curing time and it gives you a really good finish because it has a good body to the viscosity. It has good control and it's not too runny or too thick. The matte top coat is also one of the first matte top coats that were like introduced to the market. It gives a nice finish. So it's kind of like a nice option to have for clients who are, you know, more on the trendy side. So the no cleanse top coat is my top coat of choice when I'm doing chrome applications on clients. Because of its uh, thicker viscosity is really good for encapsulation as well. A lot of top coats, when you use it underneath chrome powder, it doesn't allow the chrome to fully stick to it. Whereas this one, I have never had any issues or problems with and I can go in and fix it if I need to as well. And also on top of the chrome, it doesn't make all the chrome pigments like rise up or float in within the gel, giving it a full mirror finish. For people who are concerned about their nail health, the Pro Health line from OPI Gel Color is very easy to take off and put on. It's a little softer, more porous perhaps, so the acetone kind of penetrates a lot faster and it soaks off a lot faster. Because of the faster soak off, there's not as much scraping or pulling, etc. nail damage associated with that top coat. It's like a great product to push on someone who's a little uncertain about jumping on the gel bandwagon, but at the same time, want a really nice high gloss, high finish look when they walk out of the salon. One of the very important things that I kind of learned over the years is that it is very, very important to stick to the same system when doing gel manicures. It's something that you kind of have to keep in mind when you are buying products that if you do use the system the way it's meant to be used, you can actually guarantee uh, you know, perfect nail health for your clients. And if your clients have healthier nails, it means gels also stay on their nails longer. So you kind of need to stick to the things that is recommended to use together.